Soldiers have served, fought and died as part of the British Army since the 1800s. But because they're from Nepal, it wasn't until a few years ago after a high-profile campaign led by actress Joanna Lumley that they were finally allowed to settle and live here. But it's not always been easy to adjust to life in London, which is why a new project aims to help them. Aisha Buck reports from Plumstead in South East London. It's a taste of the Himalayas in southeast London. These allotments in Mottingham in Greenwich have been transformed into a Nepalese community garden for Gurkha veterans and their families. Enna Gurung spent 16 years in the British Army and served all around the world, including Iraq. He's lived in Greenwich for just over five years. When I was in the Army, uh, that time you know, we, we do everything in the garden or everything we, we do. So I like to do now to here, come here. He was one of many thousands of people who left Nepal following a high profile campaign by actress Joanna Lumley, which saw the government allow all Gurkha veterans to retire in the UK. But many have struggled, particularly women, who found themselves suddenly widowed and alone. Gurkhas are still not entitled to the same pensions as other veterans, and many live in poverty. Sonia Tapper and her husband set up a charity to support them and created this garden with funding by the Ministry of Defence. This place reminds them of home and it just be peaceful. It's a gathering place. If you have a problem, if you, have, if you do not like problem with uh, housing, if with benefits and stuff like that, they sit down and talk to each other. And the garden is proving to be good therapy and good fun. I'm alone at home, but when I come to the garden, I meet friends. Um, and I like, uh, it's like Nepal, like the environment and everything, I like it. I love to uh, growing uh, vegetables. Um, I like nature, uh, that's why I came here. I like my garden. <laughs> so while many Gurkha families may continue to fight for equality, this green corner of London is proving to be a welcome sanctuary. Aisha Baksh, BBC London News.